What is up guys, it's Slay here, and welcome back to another World of Warships gameplay, and today we have our special guest, none other than the Tier 7 Russian battleship, the Lenin, and let's give our special guest a really warm introduction before we start. Yes, this red beautiful battleship. What other can this ship not do? We have three beautiful 407 millimeter guns on the front, consisted of nine guns. It's like a Russian John Bark if you want to think about it. But instead of four, two, four. 380 millimeter caliber guns on the front you have three 400 plus millimeter guns on the front but the con side is you could get citadel easily with having all those three guns in the front if you chill broadside now we do have an enemy russian tier 6 counterpart I wouldn't really say counterpart to but it is also in battleship so I do want to consider it counterpart ish right we are spotted now let's just talk about where I am located right now in this map if you played this map many times you know that the alleyway pathway that I am going through is considered destroyer you know destroy destinated way pathway it's most most of the time 80 percent of the time in my opinion where i'm saying 80 percent of the time a destroyer is most likely going to go through that pathway and for some odd reason no destroyer went past or went came through that pathway so i don't know what the enemy team was doing there but i did realize that the destroyers were not located on my side so that explained why we did not see a destroyer go through the middle here we have a wichita and let's just say that wichita could bounce 15 inch guns but unfortunately it cannot bounce anything higher than 15 inch guns so wichita you are unfortunately going to die but before we do take down the wichita we have a Moyoko here, Japanese tier 6 uh, cruiser, excuse me, and let's just say the Moyoko uh, fortune, unfortunately does not want to go down with that salvo there. We kind of didn't lead our shots there, so that was partly on our fault, <laughs> and RNG didn't want to give us at least one penetration, but we do manage to yoink this kill 
as I proceed to shoot one of my guns here. And, yep, 24 damage to yoink that kill. I wasn't that desperate, but I had to do what I had to do for the team since we are currently winning three, or currently losing actually, three to two. This Wichita, ah, let's just say, just like one of my real deep, 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 deep friends in YouTube want to say Wichita when he has two uh, buttons, and that is the reverse and to spam HE. And poor Wichita is gonna learn that two buttons, unfortunately, gonna send you back to ports. We do have the Russian battleship on our right side as I just soliddled out Wichita out of here. We do still have the Russian battleship here. Still located. So, the Potava, right? Russian battleship tier 6. Potava has a really good guns. 356, no, yeah, 356 millimeter guns. They are pretty average guns. I'm not going to say the best guns. But the problem with the Potava is they're low caliber and second, shooting HE. Now, I am slightly angled, but I am committing one of the biggest mistakes you can ever do. And that's limit how many people can shoot at you. I have an Ember on the left side. I have Potavi, or blah, 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 mispronounced that again, oh my goodness. Potava. Not Potavi, Potava. We have a Potava on the left side, our uh, right side, and we have an Ember on our right side. Now the Ember does not have HE, or else it would have been spamming HE and setting me on fire, since the Russian ships, or not the Russian ships, but more like the Lenin, does easily get caught on fire. So it's a really bad issue with the Lenin. That's one of the cons with this ship. Other than that, um, I really don't have an issue with the Lenin as the Embra decides to pop out I decided to support two of my destroyers because and if you remember closely the Embra does have a really good AP don't sleep on British light cruisers AP they hurt like a tank against destroyers so we decide to Citadel here the Embra in back to port he goes the Ambra also does have radar, so for you destroyer players out there, be careful against the Ambras and any other light cruisers out there in the game. Because the Ambra is no joke to play against. We are going to finish this poor Russian battleship here. With one shot of AP here. We do finish the kill. We're up to four kills here three or two citadels and one fire fire coming from our secondary batteries of course we are in a uh, we're not really in a pickle right now when it comes to points we are actually capturing their base and winning in points the vanguard does decide to pull back and try to do something to further up his Conrad's up there by our base so he's gonna mostly play the support of going back to base and you know shooting and trying to play time pretty much until his Conrad's get to our base of course we do have a cruiser at our base defending our base and as you can see there the Baltimore does take down the mass and We are going to try to get our crack in here with the Vanguard. But 
the, let's just say the ending wasn't something I was hoping for, you're going to see something, let's just say radical, something I not really supported of in this game. If you have guessed it in the by now, then leave a comment on this video to see what you think I would do for my last kill. So this Vanguard is 5.3 kilometers. He probably knows I'm around the corner, but I haven't been spotted since I killed the Enbrab. So let's see, maybe he was paying attention at the minimap. But he's going broadside, but unfortunately, I poop the shoe and, well, I could have easily citadeled him and send him back to port with that 10k salvo. But unfortunately, I miss. And our secondaries are hitting the vanguard here, setting a fire on the vanguard. So I am trying to slow down, unfortunately. I want to do this drive-by, of course, drive-by Citadel right there. Look, right. Three seconds. Come on. Can we get our guns in here? And unfortunately, we ram into the Vanguard, giving us the Kraken and the High Caliber. <sighs> well, that could have been finished. Or this could have had a different ending, to be honest with you. But... Unfortunately, it is what it is, and we do still manage to get our Kraken. Because I don't think we would have got the Kraken due to the fact that we're capping the space. And I don't think my team wants to leave the base and, you know, not capture it, of course. So, I guess it's a win-win for us. We win the game, and we win the Kraken. So... We're not really that upset. I am a little upset that I could have done that drive-by and we unfortunately ram into the Vanguard, but it's whatever. The Baltimore is up against the Iowa. We are going to fortunately win this game by my little, small, little movements I did there in the middle of that pathway. I did mention in the beginning that pathway is specifically, specifically made for those destroyer moves you are most of the time going to see destroyers move in that pathway i went through as we proceed to see our campaign milestones yeah yeah i know i haven't bought the backup emerald backup yeah you could joke around about it in the comments but we do have an average game pretty good game not a bad game we do have five kills which is most of the kills from this game 2281 xp experience of course some really good for a this battleship of course we do make 437,498 coins which is also really good we end up with 125,452 damage two or three incapitations five destroyed ships two fires one flooding two citadels and if you guys enjoyed this video leave a like and i'll see you guys on the next one